Welcome to Electron Online. Here's a few more properties that we should be familiar with. The first one is called the distributive property. Let's say in parentheses we have b plus c, and we multiply that times another number, a. a will, can be distributed over both b and c, which means that this is equal to a times b plus a times c, written like this. This is considered to be the distributive property. a is distributed over both b and c. Then we have a couple more properties. One is called the identity property, and one is called the inverse property. We have one for addition, we have one for multiplication in each case. The identity property means that if we can add a number to an original number and not change the number, that's called the identity property. In other words, we can add zero to a and still end up with a. That's called the identity pro property for addition. In multiplication, we can multiply a number times one and get the same number back. So in, in addition, we add a number zero with multiplication, we multiply by the number one. a times number one equals a. Those are the two cases of what we call the identity property, one for addition and one for multiplication. The inverse property means that if we add a number to another number and we get zero, we add the inverse to the original number or the opposite in this case, then we get zero. This is called the inverse property for addition. If we take a and we add negative a to that, we get zero. With multiplication, what number can we multiply times another number? We get one back. Well, in this case, we do that with the inverse or we multiply a number by its inverse. a times one over a will give you one. This is considered the inverse property of multiplication. This is considered the inverse property of addition. So you should be familiar with those. When you hear them, you right away understand, oh, I know what that property is and what I can do. It doesn't seem like it's important, but once in a while it comes in handy when you have certain kinds of operations that you must execute and that you're familiar with those properties, it makes it a lot easier. So try to memorize those and on to our next video.